Hello everyone, today I am going to explain the fourth problem of Adcoder Beginner Contest 342 which is square pair. So the problem statement is quite compact and uh, this is quite straightforward also. So we are given an array of n integers from a1 to a n and we have to find the number of pairs satisfying the condition that a i into a j is a square number. So the problem is quite straightforward. Uh, no, so uh, how we can solve this problem? Let's look at that. So before doing that, uh, let's uh, look at one example. I think going through the example is also not needed, but I will try to go through one example that you will understand it better. So this is the example. Uh, the there are five integers from uh, 0, 3, 2, 8, and 12. So uh, what are the number of pairs such that a i into a j is a square number? And so any number which is multiplied by 0 is obviously a square number. So all pairs from 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 8, 0, 12 is a square number. Uh, so there are four pairs here. So uh, and what are the other pairs? So one pair I can uh, check is that uh, 8 into 2 is a square number. So um, uh, 0, 8 and 0, 12. So another pair we, had, we can check is that this is 2 comma 8. And what are uh, the other pair we can think of? The other pair we can think of is 3 comma 12 which is 36 which is also a square number. So there are 6 uh, possible pairs so our answer will be 6. Okay. So uh, now how we can solve this problem? So the possible obviously the most uh, simple thing is of order of n square checking every possible pairs which is order of n square which is definitely not possible. So order of n square is definitely not possible because the constraints on n is 2 into 10 to the power 5. So what is our uh, possible time complexity? Our possible time complexity will be nothing but order of n or order of n log n. Okay. Order of n or order of n log n even here you can think that uh, uh, another thing could be involved which is the constraints on ei. Okay. So constraints on ei could also be involved. So uh, the possible time complexity could be also of order of n log ei definitely uh, this is my time complexity of my solution that order of n log ei okay so for this kind of problem when uh, ei is involved uh, or uh, something ei into aj is uh, a square number how we can solve this problem uh, uh, i think i have seen similar kind of problems in code forces also uh, where we have to use some property of the square numbers. So what is the property of the square number we will be using? The property of the square number we will be using is that let's say some um, square number let's say s. So s will be nothing but p1 let's say some prime p1 to the power k1 p2 to the power k2 like that till pr to the power kr. Now the property is that all these uh, values k1, k2 to kr, all this value, what we can say that ki, ki is even. That is the property we are going to use. So how we are going to use this property, right? So now uh, let's say s is uh, consisting of two integers. Let's call them as non-square. So let's call them as n s1 into n s2. Okay. So n s1 into n s2. Now, uh, the powers are even like p1 to the power k1 k2 kr so what we can see that the power of pi the power of pi uh, in ns1 the parity of pi in ns1 so uh, instead of writing pi so what we can see that uh, we can write the uh, here is that parity of uh, ki in ns1 will be same as parity of ki in in ns2 so uh, this is the one thing uh, we can use this is the you can say that this is the second observation we are going to use okay so uh, this is the second of uh, third observation here you can see that the parity of ki in ns1 is parity of ki in ns2 so what we can do is that uh, we, we are not going to use the even powers where the parity of ki is even in ns1 and the parity of uh, ki is even in ns2 we are only going to use the ki's the pi's where ki is odd so uh, what we, we do we will take all the pi's all the pi's such that uh, the ki uh, is odd okay 
will be taking we will be uh, ex uh, um, expressing all the integers ai in, in this form p1 to the power k1 p2 to the power k2 and we will be taking the multiplication of py uh, pi we will be taking the multiplication of pi such that ki is odd now for uh, some number ns1 into ns2 uh, to, uh, to be a square number the multiplication of ns1 into ns2 to be a square number the uh, multiplication of this odd power uh, primes should be equal so we, here you can see that multiplication of pi in ai should be multiplication of uh, pi in aj okay so that's why we will be trying to find the uh, mul uh, multiplication of the primes which are odd in every number and we are checking that uh, the numbers uh, so let's go to go into the code uh, i think you will understand it better so here uh, this part is for prime factorization in log n so how prime factorization in lo log n works so uh, in uh, i will provide the link of the gfg code also here spf is nothing but the smallest prime factor of y so for every integer from uh, 0 to max n we are trying to find the smallest prime factor of y and uh, to uh, factorize x uh, we will uh, uh, always mm, divided by the smallest prime factor of x okay we'll uh, do x equals to x by smallest prime factor of x and here mm, uh, we return uh, rate is nothing but this will give us the counter the pairs okay this will give us uh, some uh, mm, pairs p1 k1 this will be give us p1 k1 okay so after that uh, we are prime factorization uh, prime factorization every uh, value in a and uh, for every prime factors in uh, factors in f we are checking if this is odd we are multiplying c into equals to j okay c is initialized with one now we are doing answer equals to the other numbers that are uh, that are previous to j or in the left of j uh, j of uh, left of the current number and which is same this uh, value same value okay so that's why we are doing answer plus equals to uh, d of c now one special case will be needed here when the value is zero okay when the value is zero we can't do prime factorization of zero that's why uh, so here i have told that if a number is zero we will be taking all the other n minus one integers okay so let's say the count of zero is z then the number of non-zero values is nothing but uh, n minus z so this will be this powers z into n minus z now uh, we can take the combination of uh, zeros also so this will be nothing but zc2 okay zc2 so all the pairs involving zero will be nothing but z into n minus z plus zc2 okay that's what we are doing this is nothing but zero into n minus zero and this is zero c2 okay and the rest part is uh, the thing i have explained uh, and the, at the end we are printing the answer i will provide the this but this uh, article where we are prime factorization login from gfg in the description box i have just copied the code from there uh, also i will be providing the link of the, my code in the description box you can check that out if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation you can always ask in the comment section i will try to reply each and every comment please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you